Welcome to another session of Art at Home. Today we're going to be doing acrylic painting in the style of Florence Arnold. So far we've been talking about Henri Matisse, Pablo Picasso, great artists from Europe who made their impact on the art world. But this week we get to talk about not only a great American artist, but an artist from right here in Fullerton, California. Florence Arnold was a hard edge painter who lived and worked here in Fullerton. Her dates are 1900 to 1994, and most of the time she lived right here in our hometown. She painted in a style that was kind of a contrast to a lot of the sort of expressive brushwork of the abstract expressionists of the time, and that cool, clean California style became known as hard edge painting. So a little homage to Flossie Arnold, she, uh, had a full career as a music teacher before she retired and decided to take up art later in life, little knowing that she would become a really world-renowned artist. So that's kind of inspiration for all of us. Florence was a founding member of the Muckenthaler Cultural Center and also founded Night in Fullerton, the city's long-running annual celebration of the arts. So she's very near and dear to our hearts. So hard edge painting. In your kit, you're going to get a canvas, two colors of paint. We're gonna choose that for you. Here I have some red and pink and a paintbrush and some painter's tape. And I'll go ahead and show you how we can transform that into a California cool hard edge painting. First of all, you wanna cover your work area because this is acrylic paint, it will, it will stain. I know this from painful experience. So you have your two colors. Um, I like to start with the lighter color. That way the, the layer we put over it will cover better, but really do whatever you, whatever you are moved to do. We don't really want the brush stroke to play a big role in this. So just cover the surface, showing as little brush work as possible. could use a little bit of water to uh, sort of help with the flow if you wanted. Just cover the whole surface lightly. Sometimes the brushwork can be part of the uh, texture. So that is step one. We're gonna let that dry, and then I'll show you what to do with the next. So once your background is dried, then you get to use the painter's tape included in your kit to create some sort of design. Hard edge artists like to keep it simple and geometric. So we're gonna use this tape to create a simple design always end up looking like some sort of Scandinavian flag. Let's see. Let's make it simple. Ooh, that could be comfortable. Like that. Just kind of like if you've ever painted your house or painted the museum galleries as we have many times. Make sure the edges are in there really, really tight. Really clean. And Keeping it simple.
Next, you have to decide where to put your second color. You could paint all of these exposed areas the second color, or you could just paint some of them. There's really, you know, no right or wrong way to do it. Let's see. I think I am going to... Oh, that color's really nice. And these two colors actually the colors of my childhood bedroom. I had hot pink walls and plush red shag carpet. If a little bit of the background color shows through, um, just let it be. Once it dries, you may like it, or you can do a second coat. But don't just keep piling paint on top of it. Notice I'm using a pretty light After all, less is more. So let's let that dry and then see what we come up with to this. Pull it away from where the paint is. Another angle. Slowly. I know you're in a hurry to see your masterpiece, but uh, as Ben Franklin says, haste makes waste. So let's go slow. And voila, you have a California Cool Florence Arnold inspired hard edge masterpiece. Be sure to show us your finished masterpieces on Facebook or Instagram with the hashtag Art at Home. Look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.